Hi everyone and welcome to another recipe video. And today I'm making matcha mantel, and mantel are Chinese steamed buns, with an additional mini recipe for sweet matcha milk dip. Look at how fluffy. And as you can see I've prepared my bamboo steamer by cutting 8 squares of baking paper and yes I only have one nail painted, that's because whenever I paint my nails I use a peel off base coat and by the time of filming this all the rest had already fallen off. Anyway, let's get started. First we need 5 grams of fresh or dry active yeast, add 1 teaspoon of sugar, and then we're going to stir in 50 millilitres of warm milk. Make sure it's not so hot that it's steaming, we don't want to kill the yeast, we want it nice and living. Now we're going to set that aside for 2 minutes to let it wake up and start bubbling, and we're going to grab 250 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt. Next we're adding 15 grams more caster sugar, and we're going to add in that yeast mixture that we just prepared earlier. I love how it gets even foamier when you add it to the bowl. And now we're adding 100 millilitres more milk. And you're going to see how I'm going to start stirring. I actually forgot at this point to add in one teaspoonful of vegetable shortening. You can use Crisco or Trex. So add it in now. Don't do what I did and forget. And as you can see now, I'm giving it a little bit of a squeeze because I'm just about to start kneading it. And then I realised, wait, it's a really weird, dry, not very flexible texture. Ah. I forgot the shortening, so I add it in now, which you can do, it's fine, it's just a little bit messier, so bear with me while I add in that vegetable shortening that I nearly forgot. Good thing I remembered it. So as you can see, I just placed it in the centre, made a little parcel and I kneaded it in. It's getting a bit sticky, but don't worry, it does work in eventually as you can see, no problem. And what would have happened had I forgotten completely? Well, it would have been pretty dry. Anyway, now that that's done and I've got a nice smooth dough, I kneaded it only for about 5 minutes, I'm going to split it into two. And you might have noticed that unlike other bread recipes, I didn't knead for a good 15-20 minutes. And also I used plain flour, not bread flour, is because you don't really need that much gluten for this recipe. The buns are small and fluffy and designed to be eaten the day of, they don't need like a massive strong structure. So now I'm done re-kneading this for another 2-3 minutes and I'm popping it into a lightly old boil lightly oiled bowl rather, covering it. Set that aside and now we're going to make the matcha side. So I'm adding a good tablespoonful of matcha and yes it's dry and this is going to make the bread dry. So once I've finished kneading this in the most that I can, I'm going to add some water to balance that out. And again it looks really messy but don't worry, persevere, all of that matcha will be mopped up. And as you can see I've got a bit of a dry dough here. So I'm going to add in one tablespoonful of water to balance out that one tablespoonful of powder we just put in. Knead, knead, knead. It will look a bit of a mess, don't worry, keep going. And eventually you'll have very green hands and a very nice smooth dough. And all of this just took me less than five minutes to do this matcha dough. And just like the other one, we're going to pop that in a separate oiled bowl. I can't say that! Oiled bowl, oiled bowl, oiled bowl. And now we're going to cover it and we're going to leave both until they're doubled in size, just to let the yeast proof. Right, and now we're going to clean our work surface for later, because we don't want everything to be turned green. And now we're taking a teaspoonful of matcha and whisking in 50 milliliters of milk because we're going to make the sweet milk dip. So give that a good whisk until there are no lumps left. And now the main ingredient for this is 70 grams of condensed sweetened milk. We're going to stir those both together and that's basically it, that's your dip done. You can use this for other things as well. You can actually add this to milk, add a bit of ice, and you have yourself a nice Spanish matcha latte. Delicious. Or you could even pour it over pancakes, waffles, french toast for breakfast. Oh, I'm getting some good ideas now. Uh, yep, that's done. Now back to the bread. We're going to punch both of these doughs down, just to get rid of all that excess air. Love this bit. And now we're going to roll them both out. And it was right about now that my remaining painted fingernail flew off. Well, the nail didn't, the paint did, but it just went scattering in the other direction. Luckily not into the dough. So yeah, whenever I'm baking for other people, don't worry, I don't have my nails painted, just in case I get nail polish inside my bakes. So now what you can see here, I'm rolling it out to about a 20 centimeter square. It's very rough, you don't have to be exact. I'm just teasing up the corners a bit and now I'm just going to set this to the side because I'm going to do the exact same thing with the matcha dough. 
Now if you don't fancy matcha you can actually do the exact same thing but with cocoa powder and make chocolate mantle. So that would be the exact same thing just with one tablespoonful of cocoa powder instead of the matcha and add in that additional one tablespoonful of water. So now we've gotten to the point where we're teasing the corners out and we're going to put the white dough straight on top. And I'm doing it this way round because I want the matcha to show on the outside, but you can do it the other way round as well. I just paused here because I noticed a massive blob of match on the side of my hands and I didn't want it to get into the white dough so I just wiped it off. So now we're just shaping it gently again and just to make sure it's properly stuck together I'm going to give it another bit of a roll with a rolling pin. But you don't really have to do this, I just did this for insurance. So now we're just going to roll it up just like this and make a log and this is what creates the spiral on the inside. If you want more and thinner swirls, just roll it out more thinly and then that creates more rolls. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a squeeze on the work surface just to make sure it's all nice and stuck together and now we're going to cut it into eight equal pieces. Now usually mantle are thinner and wider, they almost look like little logs but I wanted to create skinnier ones and actually they're quite fat still <laughs> when you steam them but I wanted to create thinner ones so that when they stand up it's more like the slice of a log rather than the whole log so that's why I made these the shape they are but as you can see when I tried to stand them up I realized I made them too skinny so I have a valiant try now and they are standing up kind of and as you can see I'm now placing them on my prepared baking paper squares but uh, yeah that happened they're just too skinny to stand up but I decided to persevere for the second proof so I lay one down and then I covered it and I let it rest for another half hour just to let it rise a bit more. And as you can see they have all puffed up really nicely but a few more have unfortunately toppled over so at this point I just decided you know what it doesn't matter I'm going to lay them all on their sides. And now all that's left to do is steam them. So I've preheated my pan of water until it's simmering and I'm just going to steam them for 15 minutes and then that's it, they're done and ready to eat. And like I said, these are best fresh from the steamer. You can let them cool and then wrap them very tightly and freeze them after a day, but they really are best fresh. And you can eat them plain, they're just about sweet enough, but I love them with the milk dip. I bet they'd be great with melted chocolate too. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you'll join me next Wednesday for my next one. Get the full recipe on my blog tashcakes.com and find me on Instagram as tashcakestastes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Give this video a like if you liked it to help other people find it. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular. And I'll see you guys later. Stay safe, be nice and have a good week.